Hello and welcome everyone back to another fun empowerment session. We are here in fall into fun empowerment week. Um, we've had a really great week so far. We have discussed about Wheel With Me Foundation, our mission and goals. Yesterday, we had a really great session with John McKenzie about faith. Um, and then tonight is one of my favorite, one of my favorite things. I love having fitness or movement events here just because it's always nice to learn what kind of things are out in the community. And it's always a pleasure to share my favorite person with you guys. Um, my friend Chris has been doing aerobics for many, many years. She does it kind of privately for a group, for like a little Facebook group for us. And then she also does it outside of that, um, which I'll give her a chance to kind of introduce herself here in a second. But um, but yeah, so welcome to Seated Aerobics with my friend Chris. It doesn't matter what kind of level of of experience that you have. Uh, we're just here for a really good time. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Miss Chris. Wonderful. Thank you, Brianna. Hey, Jackie. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming tonight. And I was so excited when Brianna and Will With Me Foundation asked me to come back to do another Cedar Aerobics class for Empowerment Week. So as Brie was mentioning, this is for people with all levels of exercise experience, various, you know, conditions, injuries, abilities, disabilities, illnesses. Um, I'll, I'll give a, a little bit of a lead in before we get going, but throughout the class, I will also be queuing. So the most important thing is to go at your own pace. Don't try to keep up with me or others on the screen or to the beat of the music listen to your body, go at your own pace. Movement is absolutely important, moving within our own abilities. Um, so always listen to our bodies. Our shoulders, as we know, super important. We're, our shoulders will be involved in movement even when we're not specifically doing shoulder motion. So you'll hear me say a number of times, listen to your shoulders. So when we're doing some movements, for instance, in the warm up and the cool down, I'll, I'll be demonstrating, always demonstrating verbally and, and physically what we're going to do. But I may say something about um, go into full range of motion, but I'll say within your personal range. So it again, just within what you can do, it's supposed to be really fun. Hope you like my music. Kind of hard to choose music for everybody. Hope you like the music. And um, a couple of little points to note as well is that um, always watch your balance. Um, some of us might be able to do things without hanging onto our chair. There's a lot of things I have to do hanging on the other side. Otherwise I would be on the floor and you guys wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> You'd just be able to hear my voice. So watch your balance. And um, when both arms are up at the same time doing motion, that is more of a core challenge. It's more of a balance challenge. So do what you can, hang on if and when you need to. A lot of movements, if I'm saying, you know, have your arms straight, I will also say, or you can bend your arm. Um, a bent arm takes less pressure for your shoulder than a straight arm. A lower arm puts less pressure on your shoulder than a higher arm. And slowing things down just decreases the intensity but we're still moving, we're still using our bodies. Um, what I, so the, the group that Brianna was mentioning where a group of us work out together, we have all, I, I've been almost 36 years spinal cord injured on wheels. Um, some of our group have just been like a year in, some, you know, have been in chairs since the day they were born. And um, it's important, I think, to, to, um, to have community where you can, which is why Will With Me Foundation is fabulous, whether it's in these group opportunities or the, the live presentations that the group does. So community is super important to keep us engaged in movement and physical activity, absolutely. Um, you may hear me say, you know, send messages down to your abdominals or engage your core. And you may say, I've been told that I don't have a core. I don't, I've been told that I don't have abdominals or trunk. I believe, and so many of my workout girls believe and workout people, friends believe 
that it's important that we never ignore any parts of our bodies. Whatever we've been told, no matter how long we've been seated, um, always tune in, always try to engage. And our muscles might say, hey, you've been ignoring me for a long time. All of a sudden you're paying attention. Maybe we'll wake up. And, uh, and it's, it's always kind of a surprise to see what our bodies will do for us when we really pay attention. So we'll do a, a quick sound check just to make sure that the music is loud enough to be motivating, but not too loud to be irritating. So if the music is at a good volume, just give me a thumbs up and, and we will roll. Samsung Galaxy S7. Just put your paws up. You Sound good? Alrighty. So for our warm-up, the song is called Brave. I like fun songs to work out to and also also inspirational, inspirational words. So head on top of your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, feet firmly planted on whatever your surface is. And here we go. And reaching up and stretching. And control it down. And back up. Taking your arms up just to wherever they're comfortable. And down. It's a movement and a stretch. So pressing your walls out. Pressing your ceiling up. And back down. Yes, awesome already. And back up. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Now shrug it all the way up and press into the floor. And I appreciate Brianna and Will with me recording this so that you can go back and follow along with me whenever you want to get some aerobics in, get ideas for moves to put to your own music. Four, three, two, and one. Rolling your shoulders back one shoulder at a time within your personal range. Working out stiffness and kinks, keeping our muscles flexible, equals function. Slowly opening up those arms, pressing open the chest and the front of the shoulders, until we're into a full back arm roll within your personal range. Most of our stretches will be at the end. Best time to stretch, safest time to stretch our muscles is when they're warm. Couple more, then get ready to stretch forward very slowly. Okay, and really intentional, really slow, reaching out in front of you, stretch that back out. And again, if you can come away from the back of your surface, Great, but watch your balance, please. One more each side. Reach and stretch. Nice. Last one this side. Getting ready for what I call sweep, pull, and reach. And we go sweep across the knees, pull it away, over the head and down. Slow, graceful, intentional, Movement, take advantage of all the movement. Yes, awesome, you guys. Okay, this one, hold it up and over, making sure your hand is slightly in front of you. You can pulse into that. One more each side, getting ready to bounce it up. I'll show you what I mean. Or capital H I M M M M. 
Nice. Graceful transitions between movements so we don't jolt any, any joints. Okay, here we go. Two really bouncy basketballs in both hands. Sitting tall. I want you going home. Well, I guess you are home. I want you finishing the class three inches taller than when we started. All the way down, all the way up. Four. Three. Two. One. Bounce beyond your knees, behind your seat. Engage that core. Why? Because we can. Yes, we can. Same thing, bending and straightening. 
sitting tall. Oh, everybody's five inches taller now. Slowly elevate the elbows up. You can get them up to shoulder height or below, wherever you feel comfortable. But we're still moving. Beautiful, everybody. Four, three, two, one. Slowly let your elbows down. Getting ready for forward and side. Keep that core engaged. Do not ignore any parts of your body. Four, three, two, one. And we go forward, side. If you feel that you're having to use your neck muscles in, in for the exercises to stay up or to work, little trick that works for me is a slight chin tip and it's my cue to soften my neck muscles. Four, three, two, one, and pressing it to the floor. I call this the slapping away the mosquito move. So we don't have mosquitoes here anymore, but we've got ladybugs. What's up with that? <laughs> Get ready for eight low, eight high, then I'll give you a shake out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. Five, six, seven, eight, and up. You guys are amazing. And keep it low. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out, hydrate, stretch what needs to be stretched. For me, that's often my neck and the trapezius muscle, this muscle here that is our shrug muscle. That's where I often need to stretch. Alrighty, getting ready for low elbow, going into low, low forward crossovers. I'll show you what that means. Four, three, two, love the movement, one. So elbows are back to about 90 degrees, however they're comfortable. Depending on your balance, try to get a bit of a lean out over the side of your chair, stretch out those sides. <clears throat> This is our opportunities to wear uh, to air our armpits out partway through the class. Getting ready for low forward crossovers. Four, three, excellent work. Two, one. So this one can be straight arm or bent arm, shoulder height or lower, going at the pace of the music or at your own pace. Nice work. Bringing that hand down, those arms down, dust off your kneecaps. Do not fold up on yourself. Stay tall. Little bit of a rotation from the waist, if you can. Okay, now, we're karate chopping the air until we're into high forward crossovers. Watching your balance. Beautiful. Nice. Oh yeah, love this song. Get ready for uppercuts. Going to do a little bit of boxing moves. I'm not a boxer, so my terms might not be accurate, but the movements are fun. Four, three, two, and one, and uppercuts. With power, like you mean it, involve your entire body. Yes. Oh my gosh, fabulous. Okay, getting ready for roundabouts. Be really careful with your balance. I follow my fist with my eyes, if that makes you dizzy. 
Just focus on something to maintain your balance. Four, three, two, one. Like somebody's sneaking up again and you're going for their nose. Beautiful. Four, three, two, one. And punch it out front. Punch it like you mean it. Punch with power. Amazing, you guys, you rock. Four, three, two, one. Punch between your knees. Okay, we'll do a few of what I call elbow fist. Four, three. Listen to your bodies, listen to your shoulders. And one. So we go elbow and fist. Trying to keep your trunk really stable, just hinging from the shoulder. Four, three, soften your necks. Two, one, other side. Yes. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, hydrate, stretch what needs to be stretched. It's our moving break. <coughs> Get ready for alternating arm breaststroke. <coughs> so I think I have that same little tickle that Breeze had this week. When the music comes on, get ready to swim. Four, three, two, one. I knew it was there. Just wanted to give me an extra break. Feel the resistance of the water in your mind. Listen to your body and try to get the water behind you. We're gonna do some double arm breaststroke, but this is a multiple choice class, so you can choose to keep alternating or do a combination. Really try to engage your core for stability and balance. Four, three, two, and one, double arm, chin tip, soften your necks. Four, three, two, one, alternate, beautiful. That is a challenging move. Four, three, two, and one. Swoosh the water away from your legs. We're going to elevate our arms and our hands to do washing the windows. But the windows, the fingerprints can be up high or lower. So just wash the windows as high as you want to go. Arms coming up. Watch those windows. Nice. Okay, get ready for too low, too high. In four, three, two, and one. And we go low, low, reach, reach. You guys are doing amazing. It's like we've been working out together for like years. Couple more, we can do it. Last one. 
Shake it out. Nice. We are getting there. Get ready to grab your ski poles. In four, three, two, and one. Take those ski poles into the ground. Propel forward. If you can, come away a little bit from the back of your chair. But only if you feel comfortable. Love this song. Be happy I'm not singing out loud. Four, three, two, one. Now jog. Focusing on form, keeping your core engaged. Keep your body extended. If you think you've folded up, unfold. Nice. Now punch it out. Full body involvement. Punch between your knees. I do believe we are cooling down. You guys could have done that 10 times over. I should have chosen a longer playlist. Okay, shifting your weight from side to side, sitting tall. If you can put a little bit downward pressure on your wheels of the side of your chair to make you sit taller and extend, do so. We are now six inches taller than when we started. Four, three, two, and one. Now with your hands on the front of your chair or the top of your down bars, at half time, we're coming forward, stretching out our backs, muscles over our shoulder blades, our backs worked hard for us. Four, three, two, and one. Now assume that position, but hold it stationary. Really try to facilitate that stretch down your back. Nice. Other side. Once we do this stretch, stay in this position. Okay, now, if you've not done these stretches before, might be a new sensation or a new experience, watch your balance. So holding onto the front of our chairs or the front of our down bars, try to extend your body really tall. Do not hyperextend your neck. Just look to where your wall meets your ceiling and then send messages down to your abdomen to tighten up and pull them in. Okay, now I want you to pump your back, press your arms down and look at your belly buttons. <coughs> and back up, <coughs> excuse me, extend. Do not overstretch, do not hyperextend or flex your neck. Hump your back, press your arms down, look at your belly button. <coughs> and sit up. That's one of my favorite stretches. Rolling your shoulders back. One at a time, time like in the warm up. Starting to open up those arms. We're warm. We might be able to take the stretches a little bit farther. If you feel muscle stretch, fine. If you feel muscle pain or joint pain, please 
don't do the stretch. Full range within your personal range. Nice. Okay. If you've sort of slipped out of optimal alignment, just a reminder, head on top of your shoulders. Shoulders over your hips, feet firmly planted. And we're going to do the sweet pull and reach again like we did in the warm up. I think it's a beautiful cool down motion and I love all the movement in it. Watch your balance. Sweet, pull, over and down, sweet. And we don't have to keep up with the beat of the music. We're cooling down. Really important in exercise and movement that we don't come to a complete halt after a workout, that we make a point of cooling down with gentle movement and some stretches. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, this one, hold up and over, and slightly in front of you. You can hold it stationary or a gentle pulse, reaching for your wall. Four, three, I love it. Two, and one. Now palm to your ceiling, popping your ceiling off the walls, stretching that up, and gently bringing that arm down. Gentle movements, better for our, our joints. Sweet. Pull up and over, hands lightly in front of you. You can hold it stationary or a gentle pulse. Four, three, two, one. Palms to the ceiling. Pop the ceiling off the walls. Really reach. And gracefully down. Beautiful. Hands on your lap or wherever they're comfortable. Shoulders relaxed. We're just going to look over one shoulder and hold. Being very careful not to overstretch. If you've been told by physio, doctors, healthcare professionals to not mobilize your neck, then just you can bounce it out. You can just swing your arms. So looking over one shoulder and hold. Being careful not to overstretch. And slowly transition until you're looking over the other shoulder. And again, one more time, other side. And other side. And look forward. With your shoulders relaxed, take it here to shoulder and hold. Just let your opposite arm hang for a little bit of resistance and traction. Feel the stretch in your neck and trapezius muscle. Slowly change the position of your head, tilt your shoulder and hold other side, letting an arm hang, facilitating that stretch. And other side, this time roll your opposite shoulder up, back and around. Multi-muscle stretch. We're multitaskers. Other side. And roll it back. Nice. Now, if you can do this stretch, wrap your arm around the back of your chair. Engage your trunk, sitting tall. And look over your shoulder. Sort of trying to get a rotation in your in your trunk if you can. And 
And other side. We go walk it out. One more each side. I love this stretch. It makes me so aware of so many parts of my body that I can forget about. And last one, other side. without twisting our trunk this time take your arm back and away press your hand back keeping your arm as straight as you can you feel that stretch through your bicep elbow forearm and palm and other side This is a really cool stretch if you've never tried. Grab an ear with a hand, or as close as you can. Pull your elbow across as if you're trying to hide your nose. And then take it out in a way like you're trying to point your elbow to the back of your room. And again. that I get all choked up because when we're moving in community and connection the energy is amazing here we go taking your arms up only as far as you're comfortable it's not to challenge your balance exhale completely share that energy breathing it in breathing in our fabulous energy. Exhale. And again. Oh, that was so good. As just as good as I knew it was going to be. Uh, for those of you um, who weren't here last time, we all had such a good time last time. This was just as good. And like Chris says, the end always gets me choked up too. Every time. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for leading such a fun, fun aerobic session. Um, does anyone have any comments, questions for Miss Chris at all? Go right ahead. I want to say thank you so much. I am in a wheelchair as of July, and this has been the first time I've actually like felt like, oh, I'm actually moving. So I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Thank you for being here. And please keep moving your body. Potential is limitless and you've come to the right place you've come to the right group you've come to the right crowd and um 
I'm just so happy you were here. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Uh, I thought that just it's gonna make me cry all over again. Jeez, get me all all touchy feely today. <laughs> right. Oh, Brie, quick question: the the class from I think it was this time last year. I can't remember. Is it still available so that people have a couple of options to watch different playlists? That's a great question. Yes. Um. So this recording will be put up later this evening. So we put all of our videos um, on our YouTube page. So this will be found on our YouTube page. And so I also sent it out in an email um, through Eventbrite. And so you'll get an email with a link to it. But there is a, a past recording on there as well. So if you go back, everything's kind of in different playlists. But if you just search seated aerobics on there, you'll see another one from our past event with Chris, which is just as fun different playlist so it gets a little bit of a different vibe um but i i think i've watched it at least two or three times a month since she posted it since we did it whenever i can't whenever i can't work out with her in person i'm like okay well i'm just gonna post get my little my little fill in for my little fill in chris <laughs> so yes that is available that was a great question so we do have two we have two options for you guys on our youtube channel um to work out with miss chris and then um Brina, if you are interested in looking for a little bit of additional support, please send me a message on, on Instagram and I will connect you with our, with our group that does this kind of once a week, they do some other workouts and stuff. There is a lot of, um, it's just, it's literally just a little Facebook group chat and all the women, I think it started out as like maybe 15 of us. I think Jackie, Chris and I were some of the OGs and now Oh gosh, ladies, I think there's at least like 30 to 40 women in this group chat, just asking questions, giving answers, feedback, um, offering group workouts. Um, so Brina, if you're interested in that, please shoot us a message and we would love to pop you in that group and get you guys in there and moving with Chris more often. I guess, I guess I could share her with the world. I guess, I guess that's fair. I guess it's fair. So, um, I would love that. <laughs> yay. Um, so if no one else has any other questions or feedback, I will not hold you guys up tonight. Um, thank you again, Chris, for donating another hour of your time to Empowerment Week. I know Chris is an attender as well. So she she comes and supports us um, the way that you guys do. And now she's also giving our time. So we're really, really appreciative of Chris. Um, and thank you guys for giving us an hour of your time tonight as well. Um, we're really thankful that you guys show up for us every evening of the empowerment events, but more so I'm, I'm just really blessed that you guys show up for you. Um, these are really, really powerful events. You can learn a lot. You can connect with people. I met some of my best friends through these events. Um, and so the more you show up, the more you can gain from them. So thank you guys for showing up for you and, um, tune in for the rest of the week. We have some more fun stuff tomorrow. Um, Jackie, my lovely little nugget will be filling in as host for me. Um, <clears throat> And we will have a friend of ours named Spencer doing um, employment with a disability. So he'll be sharing how you can get back to work, programs that can help you, different um, different things and resources that can guide you along the way. And then Friday for the last event of the week, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, we have a woman named Colleen doing adaptive cosplay. So she just she adapts all of her costumes to fit for her wheelchair. Yes, I know Chris's face kind of lit up. Yeah. And so I'm actually really excited. We've never had anything like that before where it's like costumey and design and things like that. So that is going to be a really fun time. When you get your post email tonight here in about an hour or two after I finish some supper, there'll be a link not only for the recording of this, but also for to sign up for the last two events if you guys want to join us uh, tomorrow and Thursday or tomorrow and Friday. So um, thank you guys again so much. Um, and I hope you guys all have a really fabulous night and we will see you guys tomorrow for another thank amazing you, session. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Bree. Thanks, Will, with me.